table. So I want you to rest early today. Understand? Ashraf seems at that time normal, just like any other kids, and I was just like any other ordinary father, you know, dote on him, being the firstborn, played with him all the time. I think expectation of being father, and I love football, and then wanting him grew up to play soccer with me, you know, to do all the fun things, riding, going on holidays, hiking, I don't know, I'm, I'm a very sports person. But things took a different turn uh, when he was two years old, when uh, he was diagnosed with tuberous sclerosis, and then later he was diagnosed with autism. So right at when he was two years old, he started to have fits. You know, you always read about it, but when it comes you just lost it and you don't know what to do. You know, you panic, you, you, you became frightened and autism was like, you don't know what it is. You don't know what's going to happen to them. You don't know how they're going to behave. You don't know what is it like. Reading something and actually experiencing it is really, it's like far and wide difference, you know. I didn't know what is tuberous sclerosis, neither do I know what is autism. However, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And as he grew older, I felt that there is something more that we can do with these people with special needs. Take this place in the stepping blocks. Mm -hmm. He thought uh, about it uh, for weeks. Before trying out, mm, we can. Good job, good reading, Asha. He was restless and spent this walking around the house. Very good. Huh? Very good. When the kids come together, different ages, different diagnoses. So, autism is one. We have people with hyperactivity. We have people with Down syndrome. When I see all these diagnoses, I kind of like anxious because, like, oh, am I able to cater to the needs of all these individuals with different diagnoses? Because all I know is autism. <laughs> but we strive and we learn. In fact, they are our best teachers. When you face with this kind of challenges, it's not about just leave or sit on the problem or you know have that self pity mode. It's about we working together and work out like okay, what's next now? What are you supposed to do to Ashraf? How the school begin? It's all because of Ashraf. In 2015, we started the daily program for adult 
with special needs to go through the vocational skills. We can help them to be independent, you know, to be able to socialise, to be able to mix with the rest and so on. It's stuck, it's stuck. Okay, let me help you. Yeah, all right, you got it. I'm doing a batter. The first step is put the water, second flour, and I stir using the the spatula, <laughs> the big one. My bag would. Okay, do tangan lah, jadi buat. Apa yang pernah? Kena pen ni. Faiz is a very interesting staff of mine because when he approached me to work with Yami Takoyaki, I wasn't aware that he was uh, special. So he actually WhatsApp me on my uh, mobile saying that he's looking for a job and he has experience and all that. So I invited him for an interview. Uh, face to face, uh, and then from there I learned that he he actually has some uh, development delay because he was working in another FMV uh, cafe before this. So with the experience and seeing that he's very keen to work, so I decided to give him a chance to an opportunity because he's my first uh, special needs staff. Okay. What you can do is make your face bigger and then you bend. Make sure you're stable. Then you don't have to bend so much. Okay? Make sure it's big circle, big circle, then small circle. Remember. I tell her that I right now I not working, so I need to work to support my mom. Of course, it takes time for me, but I go step at a time. I tell Kak Yani, the founder, that I'm having a growth development daily so that she can understand me Okay, good morning everyone. Good to have you back again. Before I start demonstrating, I know you've been through the class last week. Donovan, would you care to volunteer? You will take this bit. What are you supposed to do first? Take the pillowcase and? And remove the pillowcases. Remove the pillowcases. Very good. Let's, let's do that first. Very good, Donovan. I like that you're very organized. Well done, keep it up. Okay. Next, what should we do? Duvet, remove the duvet, right? Okay. Yes, pull it out, pull it out. Okay, very good. So that's the duvet, and what is this? Jia Hao, tell me what is this, please? What is this? 
bed sheet. Okay, good. Let's remove the bed sheet. When they first came in, we did a refresher of the tasks that they did last week, such as uh, making the bed, you know, identifying certain components of the bed, which they did very well. So before we make the bed, what should we do with this? What should we be checking for? Check the dust and the stain. Check for stains. Abdullah, what, do, what else? Dust. Okay, dust. Dust is a bit hard to see, right? Yeah. But what can you see? If, if it's dirty, what can you see? What will you see here, Abdullah? White spots, dark spots. Dark spots as well. Right, dark spots are easier to identify, right? Sometimes so this is where we can actually look at how can we craft up something for them. You know, for example, let's say if this special need doesn't like to be exposed to, to public front line, then yeah, we can do something for the back for him. For example, he can be you know, looking at tidying up the linen, all right, or folding towels, or some typical job that they can do. Okay, so now, Assuming this is really clean because you have checked already, let's straighten it. Okay, you see the strap here, uh, Abdullah, there's a strap at the end, right? Could you strap it down? We don't put a time to it, so we don't tell them, oh, you have five minutes to make up the bed. So what's important when assessing special needs individuals, it's to see that they are able to complete the task. Spread it out, spread it out. Make sure it's the right side. So Donovan has this side, correct. Chiao, just spread it out, please. Pull towards you. Pull. Yes, pull towards you. Okay, pull more. Mm, all the way in, tuck in. Job that doesn't require too much into detail. For example, like in F&B, they can do clearing, they can be setting table, or if they are a little bit more high function, they can be taking orders. Yeah, so this, these are some jobs they can do. Or for example, in my front office, they can be bringing the luggage to the room or delivering items. Yeah, because this is quite repetitive in terms of the steps. Okay, and likewise in housekeeping. Don't drop on the floor, don't drop. Okay, okay come. This is the opening, so it should be at the foot of the bed. Okay? So overall, I think they did very well, considering that it's been a week. So uh, Donovan especially very impressive and he could remember every single step. He was the one that was able to perform the task better. So I was very proud of that. And uh, following that, the other two chipped in and, and you know, did their fair bit. Personally, I can see that Donovan is very ready to work, okay? He can uh, do most of the tasks given, okay? And he's very neat. Last, what should we do? Yes, pillows and pillowcases. Jia Hao, this is yours, this is your pillowcase. They definitely can learn new things. I think all of us can learn new things. It's again with proper structure and your delivery of those teaching methods has got to be very sound because not all teaching methods are suitable for certain individuals. So knowing the student's profile is very, very important they definitely will be able to learn. Take the centre. Centre, no, centre. Then grab. Grab, so can you put it through? Put it in? A lot of times, if hotels do employ individuals like such, they all come with varying competency levels. So I think it's important for the hotels then to sort of like um, scope the job description or job tasks to suit their needs rather than the other way around where uh, the individual comes in and try to, you know, get a, get a hold of or get a hand in it as to what they're supposed to do. So it's a lot about customising the, um, the, the task to suit that individual. I'm doing, are you, oh my god, you squeeze everything. Now it's a ball. Don't laugh, come. You try again. This is the opening. You need to try and Squeeze this into that. Okay. Right, okay. Right, huh? Slowly. Can be done. Don't rush. And then you. See? You did it. Okay, good on you. Round of applause for all three of you. The how?
I think the challenging part about him and still is is that he forgets things quite easily and quite fast. So we need to keep reminding him. So especially like risky things, dangerous things like hot uh, things and not to touch. So I just told him, example, like 10 minutes ago and I'm still there looking at him and he can just touch it and then he might just injure himself. So we always need to keep reminding him. So that is something that is still ongoing. I guess it's a challenge for everybody, especially when we are busy and then we might not have the time to actually uh, remind him again and again. I think right now, comparing to the time when he first started, it's getting more positive feedbacks. Like he shows effort and he's a very keen learner and all that. Uh, of course, there are bad days and there are good days. That, that's, that goes without saying. But then I think overall, it's been good so far. It will get worse. Eh? If you touch water, it might get worse. So I want you to rest early today. Understand? Individuals with special needs have one weakness, and that is adapting to new environments, unfamiliar environments, and unstructured environments. So therefore, when they move to a new place, a new workplace to be employed, and whether this cafe has a structured environment, or at least the area that this individual is working is tailor-made so that it's structured enough for him to continue doing his job, you rest after you go back home, ah? I rest the finger. I see you maybe in two years' time, or maybe after two years' time, you can become an assistant. We don't know. Coping ability means even though this child is so trained or this adolescent is so trained in the work already, they can do it so well. But suddenly, when the restaurant has got a lot of people coming in, is he able to cope with the speed that he suddenly from maybe serving a cup of tea takes maybe usually it takes five minutes to pour and bring it to the customer. Maybe that day, so many, you, he has to finish or pour the cup of tea within three minutes. Can he do from five to three? you get snapped, you'll probably have a bit of fear come in also. And when that fear comes in, right, the next time you work, you probably think, oh, when is the next time I'm going to get snapped again? So I think because of our society being a very fast-paced place, sometimes when we work with them, we tend to forget that they actually have got a learning need. Oh, Shab, come, let's go. What to buy for Alia, Shab? You think she likes this? This one is the earring. I don't think she wears earrings. She wears tudung only, right? Shall we buy a watch for her? You think she prefers white or black? Is she working or she's schooling? Schooling, right? So if schooling, do you think white or black? White nicer, huh? Yeah? White looks neat and clean, right? OK, you must ask. Ask. Uh, it's under promotion, so it's only 250. Oh, okay, Asha. <laughs> Tell me, how much in your wallet now? 270. So, do you want to spend $250 for Alia? Do you mind? Do you mind? Or you want lesser? Shall we share money and buy? You should, ah? Huh? You should, okay. 250 divided by 2 is how much? Is your calculation? He's doing his calculation now. Huh? Take a bit of time. Sorry, huh? thank you for your patience. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You want a calculator? Oh, you want a calculator? <laughs> Faster, yeah. sure. Huh? We do the mentally. Yeah? You. Uh, okay, you do. You know, you know, okay. You do. One. How much? How much is that? Okay, so that means. I pay one to five, you pay one to five. You okay with that? Okay, set, high five. You agree, yeah? Okay, good. When Ashraf was in the rep program, he was taught how to spend using cash and also he was taught how to make decisions. So he was able to actually apply those skills just now when he was buying the watch for his sister. Feeling down, 
Yes or no? Oh, hey. Okay, so can I see it? Calm down. <laughs> 